A United States Senate page, Senate page, or simply page is a nonpartisan federal employee serving the United States Senate in Washington, D.C., under the Senate Page Program. The program is one of the most selective and prestigious in the United States. Despite the nonpartisan affiliation, pages are assigned to serve senators of the sponsoring senator's party. Selection In order to become a U.S. Senate page, one must first be nominated by a senator, generally from his or her state. A candidate must be a 16 or 17 year old high school junior 11th grade or rising senior 12th grade with at least a 3.0 GPA. Summer pages can be both rising juniors or rising seniors and are not required to meet the GPA requirement. Summer pages are more often considered to be sponsored through patronage whereas semester pages tend to be sponsored on academic and extracurricular merit. However, this is not the rule for either. Processes for selection vary by state and senator. Typically, a senator's office will require the applicant submit a transcript, resume, and various essays. The process is similar to that of selecting an office employee, and may include interview of final applicants by a board of review. Students can apply for appointment to one of four terms, a fall semester September to January, a spring semester January to June, a three- or four-week June session, and a three- or four-week July session. During the school year, there are 30 pages. The majority appoints 16, while the minority appoints 14. During the summer terms, the page class may contain 30 to 45 pages. <laughs> Uniform and appearance Because U.S. Senate pages are required to wear uniforms while on the job, they are some of the most recognizable employees of the United States Congress. The uniform consists of a navy blue suit, a white, long sleeve, traditional dress shirt, a name badge, page insignia lapel pin, and a plain, navy tie males only. Pages are not allowed to add any decoration to their uniform, and at all times must maintain a conservative appearance. As expected of most Senate employees, pages are required to maintain a neat, professional appearance. Boys must be clean-shaven with hair kept short and neat, falling above their ears. Girls must also have their hair neat and kept out of their face. No extraneous jewelry is to be worn. Pages may not wear unnatural nail polish colors or excessive makeup. Pages with unsatisfactory appearances are sent back to Webster. Topic: <inaudible> Residence and free time. US Senate pages reside at the Daniel Webster Senate Page Residence. This facility is a former funeral home and was reconfigured in order to provide pages with a home away from home during their time in Washington. Administration and staff include the page program director, administrative assistant, four resident proctors, and one non-resident proctor. Pages are held to extremely high academic and moral standards. They are subject to strict curfews, are prohibited from having personal cell phones or internet access at Webster Hall with the exception of Senate computers used for school work, and maintain demanding schedules. Pages may be issued demerits, be required to have an earlier curfew, or be restricted to their dorm at certain hours for rule violations. Although pages are allowed to have personal electronic devices excluding mobile phones, they may not take photographs or videos, given the confidential nature of their jobs. The living quarters at Webster Hall cover two floors, one for male pages, the other for female pages. Each floor has a day room for social activity. All pages share furnished rooms with other pages and each room is designed for four or six occupants. Each room has closet space, a bathroom, and a single telephone. The Senate Page School, laundry facilities and a kitchen are located on the basement level. The program provides the pages with two meals per day, seven days per week. Breakfast is provided at the residence. Lunch is provided on weekdays through a meal card at the Senate cafeterias. On Saturdays, lunch or dinner is usually provided through a voucher for a meal at Union Station or a local eatery, or if the pages are on a field trip, lunch or dinner will be provided on the trip. On Sundays, the program provides dinner at the residence, or goes out to a restaurant. When not at school or at work, pages are given some liberty with their free time. Pages are subject to a strict curfew—9 p.m. on school nights and 10 p.m. on Friday and Saturday nights. 
and are expected to maintain high standards of behavior. While pages are not permitted to bring personal vehicles with them to the District of Columbia, they are encouraged to use the Washington Metropolitan Area Transit Authority On weekends without school or work commitments, pages spend their time working on school assignments, touring the many attractions in the D.C. area, or simply relaxing from a long week's work. For holidays, pages return home for Thanksgiving, winter and spring breaks, the residence is closed during these periods. The Senate Sergeant at Arms is responsible for Webster Hall. Pages are required to keep their living spaces in orderly condition, and are subject to strict room inspections five days a week. Beds must be made, personal items must be stored away, and chores must have been completed. The architect of the Capitol is charged with cleaning the hall, and the United States Capitol Police maintains a 24-hour post at Webster Hall as well as outside foot and car patrols. Their responsibility is to provide security for the facility and its occupants and to monitor access to the building. Webster Hall is monitored by a security alarm system. The security of Senate pages is especially important because of their daily proximity to prominent figures such as United States Senators, and the Vice President of the United States. School. U.S. Senate pages who serve during either of the semester programs attend school located in the lower level of Webster Hall. The U.S. Senate Page School is accredited by the Middle States Association of Colleges and Secondary Schools. The Page School requires each student to enroll in four classes, in the various subjects of mathematics, science, English, and social studies. Foreign language tutoring is available. Usually the students receive five to six hours of homework each night. If they do not maintain at least a C in each class, they are subject to dismissal. Classes begin weekdays at 6.15 a.m., with class length depending on the Senate schedule. Generally, school ends one hour and 15 minutes before the Senate convenes. If the Senate does not convene, or convenes at 11 a.m. or later, school ends at 9.45 a.m. It is possible to have classes as short as 20 minutes, or no classes at all. This is affected by what time the Senate convenes as well as what time it adjourned the previous day. If the Senate is in recess, classes may run as late as noon. Pages must be in uniform for classes, and may not enter the page school otherwise, except on weekends to access the library. The page school supervises student government and the preparation of a yearbook. It also administers page class rings, which have the Senate emblem and session of the Congress in place of a typical high school's mascot. Pages are also required to participate in school field trips. Run by the Senate Page School, they are conducted approximately one Saturday a month to sites in or around Washington. These field trips are usually at historically oriented landmarks in the Mid-Atlantic area i.e. Liberty Bell, Philadelphia, DuPont Mills, Delaware, etc. Julie E. Adams, the Secretary of the Senate, is responsible for the United States Senate Page School. Prior to the Page residence being moved to Webster Hall, the U.S. Senate Page School was housed in the attic of the Library of Congress. <laughs> summer Pages During the summer sessions only, Pages may live at home or in the homes of their relatives in the Washington, D.C., area. Commuter summer pages fulfill the same duties as the residential summer pages, except that they arrive at 9 a.m. and depart at 6 p.m. regardless of the action of the Senate that day. Residential pages are required to stay until after the Senate adjourns for the day. Commuter pages are allowed to participate in field trips with the other pages. Summer pages do not attend the Senate page school. Topic: Work. The page's work life revolves around the Capitol. A page serves the party of his, her appointing senator. Pages are employed by the sergeant at arms. The supervision of the pages at work has been delegated to the Senate cloakrooms. Senate pages play an important role in the daily operation of the Senate. Page duties consist primarily of delivery of correspondence and legislative material within the Capitol complex. Other duties include preparing the Senate chamber for sessions, taking messages for senators or calling them to the phone, carrying bills and amendments from the presiding officer's desk. Pages also retrieve lecterns, easels, and water for senators and clerks. 
Between tasks when Senate is in session, pages sit along the steps of either side of the President pro tempore's desk, maintaining availability to assist members on the floor. When the Senate is in session for important business, filibusters, and emergency situations, pages may still be on duty and work into the early hours of the morning. When the Senate is not in session, pages work from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Pages are compensated $25,605 per annum, from which are deducted federal and local based upon the individual pages permanent residence taxes and a $780 per month residence fee unless they are a commuter page. Benefits The job of Page comes with many perks, working in the Senate chamber and witnessing political action and legislative debates, access to most areas of the Capitol such as the Senate chamber, marble room, cloakrooms, and Senate lobby, a perk that most other Senate employees do not have, boarding on Capitol Hill with teenagers from all around the country, a chance to watch joint sessions of Congress, as well as the State of the Union Address, the opportunity to make use of the Library of Congress, United States Senate Library, and other facilities in the Capitol a chance to tour and see much of what Washington, D.C. as well as surrounding areas and states have to offer, opportunities to meet visiting heads of state and celebrities visiting the Capitol, daily interaction with senators and staff in a professional environment, the opportunity to meet cabinet members and other elected officials. <laughs> Program scrutiny The U.S. Senate PAGE program has undergone massive scrutiny throughout the years. The House PAGE program was shut down in 2011, following multiple sex scandals involving PAGES and members of Congress. While the Senate PAGE program remained intact although it underwent major adjustments, it is sometimes criticized as being overly patronage-based, too demanding on minors, and too isolating for its participants. Pages are not allowed to have personal cell phones during their tenure and are forbidden from accessing the Internet at Webster Hall, except for educational purposes. Pages often get less than six hours of sleep a night and must maintain above an 80% average in rigorous courses, in addition to working sometimes over 60 hours a week at the Senate. Pages do, however, have free access to health care and counseling during their stay in D.C. Notable former Senate pages Spiro Agnew later Vice President. Donald Anderson, Clerk of the House 1987–1995 Neil Gorsuch Associate Justice of the Supreme Court Laura C. Dove Current Secretary for the Majority Leader Bobby Baker, Senior Staffer to Lyndon B. Johnson Michael Bennett later a Senator, DCO Dan Boren, summer 1989, later U.S. Congressman. Amy Carter. Thomas M. Davis, 1963 to 1967, later U.S. Congressman. Christopher Dodd, later a senator, D.C.T. Josh Gottheimer, later a member of the U.S. House of Representatives, D.N.J. Jim Colby, later a member of the U.S. House of Representatives, R. As. Mike Lee, later a senator, RUT. Hannah Pingree, 1992, later speaker, Main House of Representatives, 2008 to 2010, State Representative 2002 to 2011. Robbie Mook, campaign manager, Hillary for America. Mark Pryor, later a senator, DR. Gore Vidal, an American writer and public intellectual known for his essays, novels, and Broadway plays. See also United States House of Representatives Page Canadian Senate Page Program Canadian House of Commons Page Program